Arlen Scales presents our upscale. The scale front panel features a touchscreen with quick features such as net, tear, unit, zero, and print. The screen capacity and resolution are shown in pounds. In addition, it also shows the capacity and resolution in other units such as kilograms, grams, and ounces. This particular scale is a surface acoustic wave scale, or in short, saw scale. This technology can show one part in 100,000. This is a 50 pound scale, but it can show up to four decimals due to its resolution. Mm -hmm. okay. We will start off with a larger weight. And now a slightly smaller weight. And an even smaller weight still. Thumbtack. And as you can see, it registers the weight of the thumbtack. The scale also has a tear function wherein we can show weights of certain items and we're going to go ahead and tear out the weight of the weight that's on there now. Okay, so now it's not registering the weight that's already there. And we are going to place the smaller weight back on here. And you'll see it's stabilized and it's showing the weight of the scale. There is a net grow switch, which will allow us to see the complete amount as well as the teared out amount. So, um, we demonstrated weights in pounds, but um, as mentioned before, this also reads in other units. So we're going to show you weights now in grams. This is how you do it. Nice and simple. Okay. So I'm going to place 100 grams on the scale. You'll notice the red light, it means it hasn't stabilized yet. Okay, now it's green, so we're good. All right. And it's the lighter weight. Oh. And you can see it registered the weight of the thumbtack. There is a tear function wherein we can remove the weight of an item that's already on the scale. I'm going to demonstrate that now. Go to tear. And now it's stabilized. So now, even though there is a weight on there, it is not registering because we teared the weight out. Okay, and we have the tear name that we can assign and the values in the drop-down menu. Okay, I'm going to place a penny on the scale. And as you can see, it registered the weight of just the penny. It does not register the weight of the 100 grams that are already on the scale. But with the net gross and weight, we can show the entire amount that's on the scale. As you can see, now it does register the weight of both the 100 grams and the penny. I'll have someone else here demonstrate some of the functions. So the let's look at the settings on the scale. I can easily access that by pressing the the top right button on the screen and venturing into a shortcut. So at this point we are going to look at the platform setup. In this screen we can look at the status of the current platform. Um, we see the calibrated span, the calibrated zero and the current row count. We know that scale is working fine if we see this row count moving. When there is a problem with the scale you see the row count showing an unlikely number or not moving at all. 
This gives us the ability to diagnose a problem with the scale, suppose it's not working. Um, other features of the scale include accuracy settings, so I can easily navigate my, my uh, left hand side of the screen to see what settings I want to go to and this time I want to go to the accuracy. And over here we have a range of options for controlling the accuracy of the scale such as zero motion detect, stability control, software filter and zero tracking. Another thing I would like to show is tear definitions. <coughs> so over here we show the tear definition screen. Um, we can see the different type of records that we have. We can store up to a hundred records. Um, in addition to that, uh, we want to show you this very cool feature called themes. We can initially, in our front panel, we have a black background with using green text. But if I don't like that, or if I would like to have a more lively um, uh, layout, I could choose a different theme. And I have a range of preset selections, such as I would like to choose a blue background with orange text. I hit apply. And now I have a blue background with black text. Um, and I can change this to something else, such as a green background. And this gives you the ability not only to use our preset themes, but it can also give you the ability to change these, uh, whatever background you would wish, whatever color you wish for the text as well as the buttons. Um, so it's fully customizable for your specifications. So this is a new line of our product. Um, and uh, thank you for watching.